Welcome to this video on Parallel Reality Simulation Training for Cataract Surgery. The Royal College of Ophthalmologists recommends surgical skill simulation training for intraocular surgery. While simulation training is now mandatory in the UK, virtual reality simulators are expensive and may be some distance away and therefore not conducive for regular sustained practice. Therefore, we advocate local parallel reality simulation training using low-tech, everyday materials as complementary to virtual reality training. We hope you enjoy our approach and are minded to be similarly creative in your low-tech simulations. The first step in cataract surgery involves making corneal incisions. We have used a grape with markings on its surface to simulate this. Ideally, we would use the notched forceps to fixate the globe at 180 degrees opposite to the incision However, this was not possible with the grape. Place the tip of the keratome against the surface mark on the grape and tunnel into the incision. Similarly, for the side port incisions, use a slit blade to make the incision and enter the globe at a predetermined point. This exercise allows for practice of accurate placement of instruments as well as trajectory into the globe. The next step is capsulorexis. We have used a cough sweet lozenge packet and removed the plastic top with the blade and cut into the side to allow instrument entry. As the aluminium foil is more robust than a lens capsule, we have used a keratome to pierce the anterior capsule and extend the tear. We subsequently used more fields forceps to grasp and turn the flap in a continuous curvilinear fashion. The approach of the angle of the keratome and forceps is similar to what is performed within the globe. Hydrodissection follows on from capsulorexis. Here we have used a grape once again and made a circular slit on its surface. We pass the hydrodissection cannula under the skin of the grape and inject it with BSS. We repeated this by injecting at various angles whilst passing the cannula from an appropriate distance and maintaining accurate placement of the cannula. This section demonstrates the technique for second instrument entry and exit via a small incision in the side of the plastic lozenge packet. The first step in phacoemulsification is sculpting. We have used a disc of soft cheese which fits into our previous lozenge packet and made a further slit in the side of the plastic for second instrument entry. Using the tip of a syringe, which has been cut to a 45 degree angle, we made the grooves by advancing and withdrawing the syringe in a similar fashion to the phaco probe. We performed the rotation with the use of our second instrument and also used it to help stabilize the disc. Using a slit blade, we carved the shape of a cross in a cheese disc similar to the one used in the sculpting stage to prepare it for cracking. Once again, using the second instrument and syringe as our phaco probe, we performed cracking by aligning these instruments within the groove and applied gentle force horizontally against the side wall of the cheese disc in opposite directions. Note that the second instrument pivots at its entry site. Whilst we have not demonstrated nucleus removal, this still demonstrates the accurate placement of the bevel of the syringe engaging with the quadrant of the cheese disc. For imitating lens cortex removal, we have used jelly-filled lozenge packets. The bimanual irrigation and aspiration probes are inserted via the side port and pivoted around this entry point during the procedure to approach all portions of the jelly for its removal.
this still shows a grape in half with a hollow in its center. After priming the cannula, it is inserted accurately into the hollow in the center of the grape without exerting pressure on the incision site. Then we gently injected the viscoelastic to fill the hollowed section. As it fills, the cannula is withdrawn while still injecting from a 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock position. Next, we created a phantom IOL using a wick dyed with iodine for easy visualization. We demonstrate the loading of the wick into a viscoelastic filled lens cartridge using non-tooth forceps. The cartridge is then placed accurately into the hollow of the injector and the plunger is advanced so that the wick is ready for injecting. The bevel of the injecting tip is inserted facing downward and then sliding forward into the hollow before pushing the plunger to release the IOL. The last step in cataract surgery is corneal hydration. Here we demonstrate the insertion of a primed cannula into the incision sites on the grape. It is important to ensure that the cannula is pointing in a direction parallel to a tangent at the limbus to minimize the risk of the cannula dislodging into the globe. This is the end of our video on parallel reality simulation training for cataract surgery. For the production of this video, we have used a smartphone optics adapter which can be purchased online from Amazon. We used an iPhone 7 inserted onto the adapter and secured this onto the training arm of the operating microscope to film this video using the Pro Camera app which is available on the App Store. Last but not least, we would like to thank all of our patients and theatre staff for their generous participation in this video project and we wish you luck in your simulation training for cataract surgery.